A Gwinnett County woman is recovering from breast cancer surgery after a whirlwind end to her pregnancy. Doctors diagnosed April Addison the day after they delivered her son by C-section. New at 5, the Fox Medical Team's Beth Galvin is here with her story. What a whirlwind experience, oh, Beth. Oh, Courtney and Tom, it's really just hard to imagine being told in the hospital with your newborn that you have cancer. And over the next couple of days, April Addison found herself having her first mammogram, her first breast MRI in the hospital because she's just 32. April Addison is trying to balance taking care of her six-month-old son Ashton with taking it easy as she recovers from a bilateral mastectomy and breast reconstruction surgery because the Northside Forsyth cancer nurse has found herself a cancer patient. I'm good. You know, I have my days where I, you know, I cry and but at the end of the day I have to fight and I'm 32 so you don't really hear much about 32 year olds, no family history, you know, having to go through breast cancer. April and her husband Leo who live in Sugar Hill were pregnant with their second son last spring when she felt a small knot in her breast near her nipple. Her milk was coming in and she felt like it was a clogged milk duct so she didn't say anything about it. And her oncologist Dr. Amelia Zelnack with Atlanta Cancer Cancer care says she understands the confusion. It can be really hard during pregnancy because there's so many changes that are happening in your breast that you just have a hard time knowing is this normal or not normal. But at the very end of Addison's pregnancy, that lump started to hurt. So she told her OBGYN about it, who sent her right away to another doctor for a breast ultrasound. She says, you know, we see some lymph nodes that looks abnormal, so we need to do a biopsy. So 39 weeks pregnant, um, I get a biopsy done. I was terrified. I started crying. Um, being an oncology nurse, I'm like, oh goodness, I have no family history of breast cancer cut so what could possibly be going on in June 28th the day after Ashton was delivered at Northside for Scythe April was diagnosed with stage 2 breast cancer I was you know hurt I was confused um, I felt like man I had been given a bad hand I'm like why is this happening to me you know right now within a couple of weeks she was told she would need to start treatment likely surgery chemotherapy and radiation at the same cancer center where she works with April she chose to get the chemotherapy first which we do oftentimes in younger women where we know the chemotherapy absolutely needs to be done. But Dr. Zelnick says the chemotherapy bought Addison some time to think about her next step, the surgery. So instead of rushing into, I just had this baby and now I have to make a major decision in the next week or two about what type of surgery I want to have, she had four months you know, to consider her options, um, you know, about how to best proceed. Addison chose to have both breasts surgically removed to radically lower her risk of a recurrence, and soon she'll start radiation to try to destroy any remaining cancer cells. I'm so used to caring for everybody and, you know, doing for everybody, so it's hard when you have to let go, and, and now you're the patient, and so now it's time for people to care for you. But her son is healthy, and happy. He is uh, uh, full of laughter. It's always laughing. You know, he's a great baby. And April Addison hopes that her story will resonate with other women. Never think that you're too young. Never think that because you don't have a family history of it, that it can't happen to you because I'm a perfect example of how it can. That if you feel something, if you see something, you need to speak up. And April says she had a lot of support. She still does have a lot of support from family and friends and her coworkers at Northside for Scythe. That's made a huge difference. She also feels like she now has a sense of mission to try to educate women about the signs of breast cancer mm -hmm. and the importance, Courtney and Tom, mm -hmm. of just getting things checked out. Yeah. She waited a little bit because it just, you know, was so far fetched, the mm -hmm. idea that she could have cancer. But in the end, she did get it checked, and that really allowed them to get a jump on this. Yeah. I, I feel like this experience. Uh, she kind of alluded to that, but now in her line of work, it probably gives her that extra level of understanding mm -hmm. oh, she for said, her patients. Yeah, she said she really does kind of get what they're going through now, mm -hmm. and that's going to make a huge difference going forward when she goes back to work. Gosh, yeah. just so amazing with all that's going on with her, her new baby, this diagnosis, yeah. that she looks and sounds so amazing. She yeah. really does. She has yeah. a lot of grace. Yeah. Beth, all right, Beth, thanks. Thanks. Man, she